So hello everyone, in this video we'll be connecting our Node.js server with a database. So for that, what I'll be doing is, I'll be searching MongoDB Atlas. This is basically uh, the cloud platform for Mo MongoDB in which you can create database. Uh, we can also use uh, the local uh, MongoDB setup as well, but that will take much time. So let's go with this one and Which will be faster for us to develop So if I just continue With my Google account Yep, so here what you can do is you can uh, create a new cluster as well or let me just create a new project I can name it uh, let's say blog app and we can just simply create next uh, we'll not be adding any members we'll just be providing the default project owner now I'm in the blog app now let's just create a deployment or basically the cluster so let me just go with m0 which is the free cluster that we can use we can select the default options and yeah that's it let's create the de uh, deployment it will ask the capture we can select the cars and verify it so this is basically uh, the username and the password that it is saying we can uh, use let me just copy it in a notepad file save it and yeah let me just create it okay let me just create a database user first and then let me just create it now what I can do is uh, I can do one thing let me just close it yeah we know that in here we have to whitelist the IP uh, so that we can make connection request from our computer as well so for that what I'll be doing is I'll be going inside the network access and here you can see uh, this is my current IP address that I can edit And instead of putting my IP address I'll be just putting 0.0.0, .0 which is basically uh, which is basically uh, we are allowing every uh, person to connect with this uh, MongoDB atlas database so you can see yeah this is it now let me just go to the database connection just close it we can click on connect and click on drivers we can select the version or just version 5.5 or later and then uh, if you want to f see the full code so you can click on that otherwise you can just copy this one and we can close it okay let's just go and create the env file in which we'll be uh, writing db uri and here what i can do is i can specify the password the so password we have already copied so we can copy it and we can paste it here we can also specify 
the database name that we want to uh, create basically uh, basically the collection if you want to specify that so let me just save it after that you can specify that also but let's just uh, yeah for now we can just create blog blogs we can just simply create blocks if I go here and for connecting with uh, MongoDB we'll be using mongoose package we can require it and simply what we can do is we can connect mongoose dot connect and then we can specify the DB URI which is nothing but the process dot env dot db underscore uri uh, because we are using process dot env or the dot env file we'll also have to install another package called dot env that we can install npm install dot env which will allow to f allow us to fetch information from an env file i can require it dot env and then I can set up the configuration now this is set now here what we can do is I can add a dot then and a catch block so catch will catch the errors if uh, anything goes wrong or if our database is not connected so it will log out the errors and if it is successfully connected so we'll be starting our server on this port number so this was the configuration we set up now if I do that you can see this is successfully running and if I also grab the result what is the result we are getting after connecting with the database so that will also fine you can see this is our result so it contains all the information related to our database uh, after connection after making the connection so this is basically not needed so we'll be commenting it out or I'll be just simply removing it and if I save it so it will connect with the database otherwise it will log the error that it is not connected successfully now uh, okay if I see the clusters close it so you can see this is basically the test uh, sample data that it created now what we will doing is in the next video we'll be creating our separate schema in here uh, that we can use for the connection so let's do that in the next video thank you for watching